this will be a small talk about an image intensifier tube. Say, uh, it is from, say, the 1980s. I bought it in the past for, uh, say, 11 euros on a dump. Uh, a website anyway um here it is again say the type number 11 euros and of course 11 euros is not very much anyway when we talk about such a big good say extremely good interesting tube so um well this is what I made in the past. I think I uh, enclosed it in into that tube. I'm gonna take it all apart so that we have here that tube again. Perhaps it's interesting to show. Uh, of course this is not interesting but anyway let's try and do more. Well, you can see that I use this uh, image intensifier tube in the past in an experimental circuit. You can see here the silicon kit, etc. etc. And when you go to the World Wide Web, you will surely see a certain. Um, ideas about how to make that tube and especially on the website of Jos Verstappen it's a Dutch website he is say talking about this tube and how to make it functional well oh my camera drops that is not the idea anyway so um well what's more to tell about it uh, about the tube, that's what I mean. Um, I will take, I'm taking now out all, say, the documents of all my earlier experiments. And uh, well, let's see. This is the tube again. <laughs> say on the breadboard, of course, not on the breadboard. Uh, it says laying down on my table. Uh, this is the focus grid. This tube needs two voltages. Uh, one for the anode voltage and one for the focus voltage. And here is that anode voltage and it has to be in a certain way very high. Uh, there is a kind of ring here, by the way, here, that I made to connect, uh, say, the right voltage to that um, image amplifier tube. Be it positive or negative, well, uh, when you want to do these experiments, go to the World Wide Web. Uh, perhaps you can find all, say, the good properties of this uh, tube. Well, uh, this is of course pure hobby. I pushed in a kind of piece of wood with, uh, say, an electrical connection here uh, to the anode tube and to the focus tube, etc., etc. And perhaps more interesting to tell is that you cannot use this tube, a uh, magnifier tube, uh, without uh, another piece of equipment. And that's this, say, a lens of a certain way. Here. Here we have that magnifier tube, then we have that lens, and of course I'm only giving, say, some first IDs. I tested it in the in the past uh, anyway. So we have that lens here. It's 
say in a certain way connected so that all the light uh, infrared light and that's what this is all about the infrared light infrared light reaches the tube here and then we have a sharp picture so um, it looks interesting but of course I know that uh, to make here say a night vision uh, unit with it say we are via this or uh, whatever uh, that will be a, certain, a serious ID and a serious problem but of course perhaps on the World Wide Web we know that there are so many uh, videos and also on YouTube where people use this and uh, again in the on the website of Jos Verstappen he is talking about this unit and it is like I say an image in intensifier tube so it could be that you also need say a source that strays out to the, the specific frequency where this unit was made for perhaps it's infrared I think it is infrared but anyway so you have you need a source that matches with the frequency for which this uh, intensifier tube was used. I bought it say approximately 30 years ago or so anyway perhaps it's interesting well that's all what I wanted to tell. Uh, there is of course a data sheet and uh, we now live in 2025 and uh, everything say more or less everything can be found on the World Wide Web so um, well these were my experimental results here it is this I hope it's interesting perhaps it takes too much time but anyway this is say web info out of 15 years ago and here is how I made it uh, the focus the voltage the high voltage of course it needs a very high DC voltage and there are on my YouTube channel and also on the World Wide Web and on other YouTube channels a high voltage a generator for DC that can work in this way uh, please note that high voltage extremely high voltage in the order of 7000 volts only has to have say 500 micro ampere or 1 milliampere uh, and here I tell uh, 2006 by the way uh, here I tell uh, use a 50 millimeter objective and that's this say a glass objective before say in front of that uh, super hyper duper uh, image intensifier and of course nowadays on say Chinese websites we can find many many things about this and then I mean especially infrared uh, cameras um, etc used especially in uh, in the military to aim on uh, say warm in a certain way warm objective or subjective 
that's the idea. See, when you have a uh, In the free field, a living, a living animal or so, it strays out uh, worms, say, uh, on certain frequencies. And they are received by the night watch camera, etc. Et so this is in fact also such a kind of unit. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, it was a little bit clear. Um, well, I'm not going to do more experiments with this because I did a few experiments with this in the past and uh, it was sold for say 12 euros here in the past say 20 years ago or so 11 euros but um, that's very cheap of course but the reason is that there are certain say marks kind of small uh, dots dark dots here on the plate where we have to look at via that here, via this magnifying glass. So here is that magnifying glass. Here we look at, say, the worms uh, of the the thing or the object, the subject that we look to. And here is a kind of magnification here. And there are, say, certain bad dots here on that plate. So black dots or whatever kind of other dots. Uh, that's also the reason why it was sold for 12 euros. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit interesting and clear. Again, thanks for watching. By the way, it's a beautiful, beautiful tube made for a specific, a specific purpose. Anyway, beautiful tube, but uh, with some flaws. <laughs>